from Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chevy Chase, and you're not. <laughs> Let's just start with uh, your first name, last name, spell it for me, and a quick unit and a demo description. Well, I'm Captain Sean Griffin. That's S-E-A-N-G-R-I-F-F-I-N. I'm the commander of Alpha Company 18 Infantry, 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division. You proud of the way you spell Sean? Absolutely. Irish heritage. Uh, Great-grandfather came off the boat back in about 1917, so. Okay, outstanding. Um, as a commander, uh, are there certain key points or things that you emphasize to your guys to get them to accomplish things like this? The biggest thing for us is focusing on the basics, uh, getting really good at doing the little things over and over and over. So that way when we're put in a time-constrained environment such as this, it's not trying to re-figure out how to do it. It's more routine, just the timeline's condensed. Okay, and uh, with the condensed uh, timeline, what did you see out of your soldiers uh, to make all this happen? Well, one thing, the soldiers uh, are extremely motivated to be out here. This is the mission we've been training up for the past year. And so uh, with the time constraint, it really just came to uh, making sure all assets kind of combined at the decisive point, rail offload, personnel arrival, a container arrival, and of course for today, ammunition and vehicles getting at the same place at the same time. Okay. One of uh, the points that they really wanted to emphasize was once the range went hot, uh, the rounds got fired. I guess 801 was too late or something like yes. that. So, can you kind of touch on that a little bit? Uh, the big key thing is when we say we're ready, we're ready. Uh, the soldiers have put forth great effort and we're out here extremely early. I think most of us woke up at about 3.30 for an 8 o'clock hot time just to make sure all the minor details were put forth. Uh, and ready so that as soon as we were told we were cleared hot, the uh, rounds went down range. Okay. And um, is there a sense of pride being, uh, I guess, I guess they call it like a historical moment, the first um, day to be doing such things like this. So is there a sense of pride in the uh, When we sit back and think about it, yes. But right now, uh, everyone's just kind of focused on doing their job. Uh, they're out here to do a job and do it well. Uh, and then when we go back and kind of sit down at the end of the day, we kind of take inventory of what we've done, and we actually do appreciate the significance of these events. Okay. What are you looking forward to your tour during all four uh, really the partnership with uh, all our NATO uh, allies. Uh, I've been deployed three times to the Middle East and it's really exciting to work with some of the nature, uh, nations that we've had partnerships with for the better part of a century and I'm really looking forward to working with those nations. Okay, and uh, what are some things you've noticed so far that may be different from what you're used to since being here? Humidity. <laughs> Oxygen because of the lower altitude. Uh, in terms of training ability, it's virtually the same as our home station. The weather, we've trained in weather like this uh, back in March. Uh, the equipment, repair parts availability is similar to NTC. So it's uh, nothing we're experiencing here is brand new. Uh, we've all seen it before at different points in our train up. It's just different times and uh, different places we're experiencing these. Okay. And uh, after seeing your soldiers accomplish uh, what they did today, um, any words for them? No, oh, they're doing an out outstanding job. All their families back home need to know that uh, the training they've done this year has been completely worth it. They are turning heads out here. They are showing what they've got and making their families and their country proud. Okay. Anything you'd like to add, sir? Assault. <laughs> Assault Company 1-8 Infantry. <laughs>